Liv or Liv Bits and I are going to be talking today mostly about sharks, but about anything that occurs to me. And Liv is going to tell you a little bit about herself, and then I'll talk a little bit about myself, and then we'll go into the discussion about sharks. Go ahead, Liv. Perfect. I actually just realized something about this book. Like just today when I was looking at the cover, I, I just, for some reason, the cover started like coming back to me and I had all these memories. And this was the first shark book that I ever read. I okay. was like, how did I remember this? And then I realized I went back to my second grade mind and I was like, oh my goodness, this was the first shark book that I read to get me into sharks. I don't, even wonderful. Know, I don't even know how I remembered that. I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. I, Liv and I have known each other for years now on Twitter. And we've often talked about appearing at a school together or appearing at a conference together. But what's happened is that now we're self-isolating and we can only do this on a video conference and we're doing this on Zoom. And of course, uh, I've written many, many books. And what we're going to be talking about is a particular book that I wrote uh, called Sharks. But I was looking at, and here's the book on sharks that we'll be talking about. One of the reasons that sharks are so interesting is that everybody is terrified of sharks, but they're terrified maybe for the wrong reasons. They're only about, if you can believe it, only about 80 shark attacks a year, on the average 80 all over the world. And the United States, fewer than one or two people are killed each year. So that, and we kill hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of sharks every year. So when you talk about sharks being a predator or about a hunter that we're frightened of, I think the people we should be frightened of is us, yeah, not sharks. Exactly. Sharks are more afraid of us than we're afraid of them. Yes, I agree. I, you know, sharks have been around for 400 million years. Before the trees. Way before the time of dinosaurs. So there were sharks swimming in the water when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. But there were sharks swimming in the waters millions of years before the dinosaurs roamed the earth. So sharks are really somebody, some creature that have, has been around for as long as we have known it. So if you have your questions about sharks, I have some things that I'm going to say about sharks, but why don't you ask your question and I'll think about the answer to your question if I know it. May okay. I share something interesting that I know about sharks that surprisingly not a lot of other people know. Go ahead, tell us what you know about sharks. Okay, so I'm gonna make, turn it into a little bit of a question and see if you know it. True okay. or false? There is a shark that walks. A shark that walks. You know, my, my suspicion is that that's true, but I don't know the name of the shark. <laughs> so why don't you tell me about the, the name of the sh shark that walks? It is called the epaulet shark. And when the shark is first born, it actually walks on its fins. And scientists believe that the reason for this is because in the area of Australia, of the area of the Australian reef that they live in, there's actually very, very low oxygen levels in the water. And so I, they, I was trying to read up about them, like 10 million different articles, and I was trying to figure out, like, why do they walk? And the only stuff I could find was because they had low oxygen levels. So still, yeah. to this day, I'm I think there's another reason as well, totally. because there is a fish that walks, and it's an amphibian fish. It can live in air as well as in water, and it can breathe through its skin because its skin is wet. And what happens is that it can go from pool to pool. It's a freshwater fish. But anyway, sharks are really interesting. And one of the reasons that they're interesting is because they are, have super senses. And their super senses are not like our senses. You know, their keenest sense is a sense of smell. And hearing. And they have an excellent sense of smell. For example, if you drop a, a drop of blood 
in water, a shark can smell that from more than a mile away. And that's why they're attracted to anything in the water that's bleeding because they immediately think of it as prey. So sharks also have very interesting eyes. You know, if you've ever noticed a cat's eyes seem to shine in the dark. And the reason that a cat's eyes shine in the dark is because light that hits a cat's eye goes through the eye and then they have a kind of a mirror in the back of their eye called a tapetum. And that mirror focuses the light back again so that the eyes have a double chance of getting any light coming in and going out. So that means that they can see much darker things that we can see. And that's why the eyes glow in the dark. So if you looked at a shark and you shone a light on it in the dark, its eyes would glow just like a cat's. Now, I don't advocate that you do this to a shark, <laughs> but I think that it's fascinating. Sharks also uh, can use this, as a matter of fact, to hunt not only in clear water, but also at night or in murky water because they can see so well. Did you ever take a look at a, at a tank of tropical fish I, I'm sure that I have, but it doesn't, it doesn't really Well, each it. fish, I have many tropical fish because I love that as a hobby. And each fish has a line running down the length of its body. It's called the lateral line. And that lateral line is what sharks have as well. And the lateral line feels any kind of vibrations. So if you have a shark swimming a half mile away and you stick your hand in the water and slosh it back and forth, the, fit, the shark can actually feel the vibrations in its body even a half mile away. And that means it can swim towards you. If it feels you thrashing around in the water in trouble, the shark will go to you in trouble. So why don't you ask me about any common sharks that you want to know about? And I'll see if I know anything about them. So quickly, if I could ask about one shark, one shark yes. that I find very interesting and that, can I maybe share a little bit about it too? Yes, please. It would totally be the tiger shark. And all sharks are known as vacuum cleaners of the ocean because they do like, as you were saying, like if you had one drop of blood, they could, they could smell it from like a mile away. And if anything is lying dead on the ocean floor, the sharks will pick it all up. And so if sharks were gone, then all that dead fish, all that, all those dead animals would just pile and pile up. Like I wouldn't want to swim in that. So that's yes. why it's really important. And tiger sharks will eat anything, even each yes, other. Exactly. They're like the goat of sharks. Goats <laughs> eat anything and tiger sharks eat anything. You know, the tiger shark is the second most dangerous kind of shark to people. It will attack people the second most so who's number one on the list? Okay, I'm debating whether it's bull shark or great white shark. That's the one, the latter one, the, the great, great white. white. So tell us what you know about the great white. Well, the great whites are actually, besides the whale shark being the biggest, the great white sharks can actually get really, really big, up to 25 feet long. And the thing about great white sharks is when every, they're the most common kind that scientists will go into shark cages for because great white sharks are so interesting to learn about because they have a very interesting way of hunting their prey. What they do is they swim super, super low in the water. And for example, if a seal was going by, if they were going by to get their food, a good example of this would be Seal Island in South Africa. And they all, they call this thing a ring of death. So there'll be an island with seals on it and then there'll be an area around it which is like the danger zone. You don't want to be alone in that. And so let's say a, a little flimsy seal is flopping around, doesn't know what they're doing, and the great white shark can feel that vibration of them splashing around. So they go super low in the water, and then they'll like, they can like sense that the, sh that the seal is above them, and they swim straight up at full speed, and they go right out of the water. They just go, yeah. whoop. And I yes. love watching videos of those because it's so incredible to see the shark, not just to see, 
even like the shark's body. Was there a shark behind you just right now? It was, it was, <laughs> I got like scared because I was talking about sharks and then <laughs> my dog just came up and was running like, but it's actually quite cool to see the shark's body in that pose because they don't just go, they're most of the time they're they're bendy, they're in the weirdest positions, their tails are touching their heads, and it's it's just yeah. an incredible. You know, thing. sharks generally, uh, big sharks generally hunt alone. Smaller sharks sometimes hunt in what's called a feeding frenzy, mm -hmm. when a lot of them gather around. Usually, the uh, big sharks hunt alone, and the way they bite, and they will hunt animals which are too big to swallow at one gulp. So sharks have an interesting, it's kind of gory, but I know that you like gory stuff, so I'm going to tell you about it anyway. Sharks bite with their lower mouth first. They bite with their sharp teeth this way, and then they clamp down with their upper mouth, and then they have a good clamp on the uh, animal that they've clamped on, and they shake their head back and forth until the piece of that they've clamped down on breaks free and then they swallow the whole piece at once. They don't chew it up, they swallow it at once and it's the, then digested in their stomachs. And you know, some sharks swallow uh, these pieces which are almost as big as they are. So it's really amazing. The only other animal which I now remember swallows chunks it doesn't even swallow chunks, it swallows, swallows whole animals that are bigger than they are, are giant snakes. So you see a boa constrictor that its body goes this way and then there's a hump where of the prey it just swallowed and it takes months to digest the prey. Anyway, there are a couple of other interesting sharks. Let me just mention a couple of others and tell me what you know about them. What do you know about the hammerhead shark? Okay, so the hammerhead shark, not only do they have a very like like mysterious look, is that they actually on the, I think if this is correct, the two, like how they have the eyes on the side of them, that center part is actually, so on a normal shark, they would have that on their head where like their ears are, where they can hear, maybe where some of their senses are. And that actually is in the middle of the two parts of the hammerhead shark. Exactly right. And the hammerhead shark uses its eyes, which are spread out on its head, and this gives it a greater uh, ability to see off in the distance and in different directions. So it's actually a good thing for it. But hammerhead sharks, I think, are the most easily recognized kind of shark. Sharks, oh. by the way, look different. And their sizes are also very different. There are some sharks, raise your fist like this. There are some sharks as big as your fist. And there are other sharks that are as big as a school bus. Only the sharks that are as big as a school bus are gentle. <laughs> are, are generally not dangerous. What's the biggest fish in the ocean? That's a shark, but it's not dangerous at all. It's the whale shark. It's my favorite. Exactly right. <laughs> because it opens up its mouth. Like, uh... is, and it's not dangerous because it doesn't eat big things. What is it? What does it eat? It generally uh, eat very, very small fish, and like shrimp. It'll just eat, like, kind of like that's what another name for it was when it came, like, from the whale shark. That was another part of it that came from, like, a real whale, was that they, they just kind of, like, inhale their food. They just open up their exactly mouth. Exactly right. They swim through the water, exactly. and they, with their mouths on, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right, Liv. They swim through the water with their mouths open, only their mouths are big enough to really have fit a car through. And they actually filter out the water in the back of their mouths. They have a filter and the most of what they eat is called plankton. Now plankton are tiny shrimp-like creatures that are very small, but the filter filters it out. But the whale shark looks like, you figure if it's a single plankton, that's not enough food. So the whale shark can filter can filter many hundreds of pounds of plankton in each day. It's constantly, it's like a big vacuum cleaner. It swims through the water, filtering the water each day. And there are other big sharks. Uh, there, the other big sharks. Megamax, um, Greenland sharks. Exactly right. 
and they also uh, and they also are filter sharks. They swim through the water, filtering water. Most sharks, by the way, are not dangerous to people. But sharks also are very interesting. Most fish have scales. Sharks don't have scales. They're skin they have something on their body. Do you know what? They, oh gosh. They, it almost like their skin feels like sandpaper because I remember so when I was supposed to be identical. Mm -hmm. And what does it, go ahead, tell us what it feels like. It definitely, it just feels rough. Like you would, a lot of the time people can mistake that because in a lot of pictures, a lot of when you look at it, it actually sometimes can look shiny, especially on the blue shark. Their skin actually like it, when it, when the sun shines down on them, they look, it looks super shiny and soft. And then you touch it and you're like, ow. Yeah, but you know, it's very funny because if you stroked a shark from its head to its tail, it would feel smooth. But if you if went you like this. A shark the other way, it feels rough like sandpaper. Now, I don't recommend you trying this, but it's still true that if you take a shark and you stroke it one way, it feels smooth, and you stroke it the other way, it feels rough. That's sort of, interestingly, what you said about the light reflecting off it depends upon which way the light shines. If the light shines in one direction, it looks sort of mirrory and very, uh, it reflects a lot of light. If you shine it in the other direction, it, it's not mirror, mirrory. Mirrory, that's not an easy word to say. Mirrory. It shines, mirrory. It shines, if you shine a light in the other direction, it's like sandpaper. It's very rough. Can I share one more cool fact yes, about sharks? Of course. So in your book, you were talking about how, of course, you have a higher chance of getting hit by a vehicle than you do getting attacked by a shark. But did you know that there's actually a higher chance, not only with lightning and cars, there's actually even a funnier one. You're more likely to have a vending machine fall on top of you than get attacked by a shark. I just think that one is hilarious. Okay, I got one, one more funny one. You're more likely to get injured walking on the beach than going swimming with <laughs> sharks. Because I think I read, read once that you were six that 16 people a year were injured by falling in holes on the beach. So next time you walk on the beach, think about it. You're safer walking, swimming with sharks than you are walking on the beach. <laughs> Probably all those huge holes that I dug. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. One more thing I want to mention. You want to be an ichthyologist. Yes. And why are sharks perfect for you? Because sharks are fish. Oh. Sharks I, I was going to say misunderstood, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people think that sharks are more related to dolphins because they, they have a dorsal no, fin. No, not at all. You're right. Dolphins, dolphins like, are mammals, yes. and sharks, exactly right. And sharks are fish, <laughs> and fish swim. <laughs> dolphins That's very cute. And mammals do that. It's been delightful talking to you, Liv, and let, let's do this again, yes. either about sharks or some other topic that we'll think about. And can I, can we take a picture real fast before we're done? How do we take a picture? I have no oh, idea. I can just take a picture of the screen. So everyone, oh, okay. thumbs up, jazz okay. hands, okay. smile. We'll do, we'll do this.